y'all it's super early in the morning and i am filming this video okay <laughs> yeah hey y'all welcome to a new video today i have a target haul that i am going to be sharing with y'all and y'all it is a lot so grab yourself a cup of coffee grab yourself a glass of wine whatever you need to grab when you are watching this video because it is going to be a little chatty and it might be a little lengthy i am not sure yet okay <laughs> anyhow if you guys are interested then let's go all right you guys before we get started with the target part of the haul i want to give a big huge shout out to tam over at shorty tam and a big huge thank you Thank you so much for my Joanna Parker salt and pepper shakers. Y'all, look how cute these are. Now, she doesn't like them, but I think they are just the cutest things. And if you guys are not familiar with Joanna Parker, from what I understand, Joanna Parker made paper mache items and people love them so much that they started doing replicas in the uh, ceramic things. I think now, y'all can Google and find out information about Joanna Parker. But I believe her birthday is on um, October 31st. So I'm thinking what she started with was all the cute Halloween things. And that is how I actually found out about Joanna Parker. I wanted uh, a couple of, of her candy corns and I asked my friend uh, Bethany uh, where did she get those from and she told me you know Joanna Parker and she told me you know she got them from Traditionals Christmas Store and blah 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 blah. Now I have known about Joanna Parker for about two years because um, like I said I was trying to get those candy corn salt and pepper shakers and those things were showed out and you know you had to wait you had to get on the waiting list and wait and I'm telling y'all I waited for about a year to get those candy corns uh salt and pepper shakers <laughs> anywho um I think Joanna Parker has gotten really really popular because of the Ray Dunn community uh people love it they love adding it in with their Ray Dunn uh, I believe also that if you are a person that specifically loves Halloween, uh, they know about jo Joanna Parker. Um, but I believe that these things are going to be, um, what did I tell Tam these? Oh, <laughs> collective items. I believe these are going to be collective items because these were specifically made for uh, Magenta Eat to uh, distribute throughout home goods. And I don't think that uh, these are going to be coming back. I'm not sure y'all, I don't know. I am not a aficionado for Joanna Parker. It's very popular and uh, especially within the Ray Dunn community and her stuff sells out really fast, really quick. So if you love and like this stuff, you pretty much have to be on a waiting list to get the stuff unless you're just lucky enough to get it when it comes out. Anyhow, I thought I would just share that with you guys in case you are not familiar with who Joanna Parker is. I love her stuff. I love her coffee cups, her coffee mugs. I do have a few pieces that I picked up for Easter. Uh, some salt and pepper shakers. Um, I don't know if I even told you guys where those were from, but I did incorporate them in a tear tray. And now I have the candy corn. I wanted mugs this year, y'all, the Halloween mugs, uh, especially that little spider that she has. But y'all, that stuff sold out so fast. I was like, OMG. But I am so thankful and so grateful for Tam for getting these for me because I have been looking in home goods forever. And I still have not seen one piece of that Joanna Parker collection, y'all. And it is a large collection. It's more than just the salt and pepper shakers. She has a teapot that goes with this. It's also a little cream, uh, creamer set or something that goes with this. Then she has a salt cloth set. It's, and then I think there's a, a peppermint set or something. But you guys will see the pictures as I am speaking. But... 
that's enough about your inner parka y'all let's get into this haul not quite yet y'all <laughs> a lot i have been picking up a bunch of vintage santa clauses y'all but they are not chuck a lot <laughs> i know that they have one in target but i love him and i picked him up off of amazon y'all i just love him love him love him so much but yeah i wanted to get that in because like i said i've been picking up all these vintage santas and they don't look like me <laughs> anyhow Oh, cute. All right, y'all. Now we can get into the Target stuff. And the first things I want to share with y'all are the Mrs. Myers scents. I was able to get the Snowdrop. I got it in the dish soap. And then I got it in the um, hand soap. And I thought I had the cleaner, y'all. But apparently, I did not pick up the cleaner. And that is what I really love. But I picked up another dish soap. So that's very disappointing. I'm gonna have to see if I can find the spray cleaner now. I thought that's what I had, but anyhow, I have been looking for the peppermint. I'm trying to see if Target is going to put the peppermint on their site. I have not seen it yet. The only place I have seen it is on the Grove website and they sold out so fast, y'all. So uh, I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for that and hopefully I can get the spray cleaner. I'm so disappointed y'all i thought this was the spray cleaner anyhow <laughs> moving on y'all the first thing i want to share with y'all is something that i have not seen in anybody else's haul but this is something that i knew that i wanted and y'all i hunted these down okay now it is these little uh candle holders right here from hearth and hand y'all like i said I hunted these down. Now, the first one I picked up, I picked this up while I was in Houston. They only had the one, y'all. My sister and I, we drove to a couple of Targets looking for these things. Y'all, she's so sweet. She was trying to help me find these things. <laughs> but we could not find them. Uh, I managed to get this one because I had seen it online and they had the one and we picked it up. And like I said, we tried to go to different Targets. They did not have them. So I came home. I looked on the Target website to see if they had any in stock and they did. Well, this one store had low stock. So I managed to find two more. And y'all, I went to a Target that I had not been to in years to get these. Uh, when we first moved down here to Dallas, we moved to a town called Addison. And I used to go to that Target quite a bit. And I actually forgot about that Target. And when I saw it listed on the little website, I was like, is that, is that the Target that I used to go to in Addison? But it was, y'all. That Target is so old, y'all. It only has one door. There is no groceries in that store. Y'all, it is ancient. But anyhow, they had two. I only wanted two of these things. But they had two of them left, y'all. So I just grabbed both of them. And y'all know I love these because they are vintage looking. And I was like, I have have to have these things <laughs> so that is the first thing that i am sharing with y'all while i was in that target y'all i managed to pick up this little ornament this is the small ornament that i think there is a big version of this sign and i'm thinking this is an ornament right y'all but anyhow uh, i thought this was really cute and maybe this will fit on my tear tray and then speaking of ornaments y'all we're gonna go through all of the ornaments really quick this y'all oh my gosh how cute is this right here if you are a target person you have to pick him up he is so cute y'all i loved him and i had to get him this is in the wonder shop it's part of all of the little ornaments that they display but i loved him and i had to pick him up and then i also picked up a couple of these now i am not going for red this year y'all so i am going to try to spray paint these but i thought these were cute with the little snowballs in there i picked up two of those 
and then keeping on with the ornaments where's my other little thing uh i don't know where it is but i'll have to get up and grab it but i picked this one up from the bullseye section y'all i could not find any more of these this was the only one that was in the little pot what a what a tray where the dollar items were y'all i have gone to several targets and i have only seen this one thing as far as those little uh what do you call it? um ornaments these things this is the only one i found i found no more and that is crazy y'all super duper crazy <laughs> Anyway, I love this thing. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in other people's hauls, but I did pick up one of these. So I had to go and get my other little ornament to share with y'all too. I picked up this little uh, enamel uh, cup. I thought this was so cute, y'all. And uh, you guys know that I am trying to do a green thing, y'all. But I thought these were really cute. You could add in a little tree or something like that and add this on your hutch or your chill tray or whatever the case may be but i picked up one of those and then i also picked up two of these little baby deer these are gonna go on my tear tray y'all and then i also picked up two of these cute little snowflakes this was a double pack y'all the girl was at the register she's trying to ring them up separate i'm like girl that's a double pack <laughs> all right that is everything i have as far as ornaments let's get into some trees y'all and you just saw me show this little fuzzy so i picked up a white one and then i picked up a green one i thought these were really cute y'all and then i also picked up some of these i don't know if i showed y'all these in my first little target haul but i picked up a bunch of these these come in two sizes, y'all. You have a large one and then you have a smaller version. But they were a dollar. And I also picked up these wooden uh, trees. I picked up this uh, gray and white one and the white one. And I also picked up the wood one. Y'all know I could not forget the wood one. Then I also picked up this version of a tree with the little paper sack. Y'all know I love the paper sack. So I picked up two of these and then I also picked up the other version of that tree. Y'all, I have a tree explosion going on in this little room in here. I cannot wait to decorate for Christmas so I can get all this out of here and cleaned up. I also picked up this little tree right here. Uh, this is from the hearth and hand section. This is not from the bullseye section. And you guys know this is the smaller version. So this one was $4.99. They do have a taller version. I think it's either $9.99 or $14.99. But I only picked up the small one. And then let's stay on greenery. I picked up two more wreaths, you guys. These were $3. And I love these because they just look vintage to me and you guys know that i love my vintage items so yeah picked up a couple more of those y'all i have so many spots that i am decorating this year so this might seem a little excessive but you guys will see how it is all going to come together i only picked up one sign you guys and that is this saint nick's christmas tree well, not Christmas tree, but tree form. And then on the other side, if you turn it over, it says Merry Xmas. But I'm going to be using it for this side right here. All right, y'all, I forgot about these little trees right here. These are so small and so tiny. You can put these in your glass jars or glue them onto something. But I thought these were really cute. So I picked up a couple of string lights. I wanted these last year so bad, but they ran out. I couldn't find them anywhere. So when I saw these, y'all, of course, I grabbed them. I grabbed two bags. I was like, I am not letting these get away from me this year. But I do know they have a version of this in Hobby Lobby. Or if you can't find these in Target, you can try to see if you can get these at Hobby Lobby. 
and then i picked up the stars as well i thought these were cute and you guys know i am going to try to do a winter theme so these would fit in great there or i'm gonna put them somewhere <laughs> and then i picked up these bells right here this is a garland i believe and yeah this is a garland it says garland right there but uh these were the only ones that i have seen like this and they have that vintage feel to them y'all so of course i wanted to get these i also picked up this little sign right here i loved it <laughs> can y'all see what that say uh, put it back right here i thought that was really cute <laughs> all right y'all can we talk about houses i did pick up the wooden houses <laughs> I've seen these in everybody's shop with me, but these are so cute, y'all. You cannot pass these little houses up. And then I picked up one more of the white ceramic houses because I know I have houses from last year, but I want to add to my little uh, village. And then, you know, you can spread these little houses out a little bit of everywhere to your trays and all of that good stuff. So I picked up the black ones as well. And then I also picked up these right here. I love these because of the wooden uh, roof. So I definitely wanted to incorporate these somewhere. All right, y'all, this next item, I know you guys have seen in everybody's haul because I've seen it in everybody's haul. And that is the cocoa uh, towel. Y'all, this is so cute. It's a grain sack material, but yeah, of course I had to get this. I had to add that into my little cocoa bar somewhere. And then I also picked up another one of these little baby tear trays. I thought he was so cute. I actually took my other tear tray back. The, the last one that I bought, the little triangle, I ended up taking that back, y'all. I just couldn't use it. So I was like, I'm returning this. And then I picked up another one. Go figure. <laughs> And the last two items I'm going to be sharing with y'all from the Target Bullseye section is this throw right here. I thought this would be cute to go either outside or in my guest bedroom. We shall see where it ends up. And then I managed to find the cute little pillow. Y'all, I had to have this. This is so cute. But this is definitely going on the guest bed. Alright y'all, we are winding in this haul down. I tried to go through the <laughs> items as quick. I do have a few more things that I want to share and show y'all. And the first one is this pillow right here. Lord knows I did not need to pick up any more pillows, but I want my couch to be comfy and cozy. And y'all know I have a thing for pillows. So I picked up this piece on earth. I don't know if you guys can see that embroidery in that pillow but that is so cute and it's going to fit into my theme of my neutral christmas and then this big boy oh my gosh y'all he is so soft and so cushiony but it is this pillow right here oh big as me so soft and so cushiony y'all i had to pick him up and then the last two items that I have to show you guys from Target are these throw blankets. These are from Threshold and y'all, they are just so soft and cozy. I had to pick these up. Now I picked this one up because I told you guys that I am doing a neutral Christmas and this was perfect for that. And then y'all, this one right here, I couldn't leave it. It's just too pretty. <laughs> is this green one right here y'all i was like i have to get that i know i'm trying to do a neutral theme but it's got to be some green in there some way y'all i couldn't pass this uh this green was just calling my name so i ended up picking this one up as well y'all <laughs> All right, y'all, now I have one more thing that I want to share and show you guys. It is not from Target, it is from Aldi's. Uh, my sister called me last weekend and she was like, girl, you need to go to Aldi's. They have pomegranates for 99 cents. She knows how much I love pomegranates. <laughs> but I had seen on Live to Shine, she had showed this cable knit throw. And while I was walking on the aisles, I saw it. Y'all, this thing right here is just as soft as these cable knit throws from Target. It was $14.99. So it was just 
you know, a four dollar difference from these right here. These are not the thirty dollar throws, y'all. These are the uh, twenty dollar throws. It is just as soft, and I believe that it is actually bigger than this throw right here. Let me read the numbers. Yeah, this is a fifty by fifty inch by sixty inch throw, and this is a. Oh no! I'll take that back. They are the same, but for whatever reason, this one feels a lot thicker than the actual Target one. Uh, but anyway, they are equally soft and they are equally cozy. And of course, I'm going to be incorporating them all in to my Christmas decor. So yeah, if you guys are interested in all of that, then subscribe, especially if you are new here. I would greatly appreciate it. And y'all, don't forget, be nice, be kind, be sweet to somebody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I hope you are having a great day and or a great week whenever you are viewing this video right here. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.